Hey and welcome to this video for Eases to do backup. In this video tutorial we're going to show you how to use our software to back up your computer. So the first thing you'll need to do is head to our website. It's Eases.com and if you go up to backup software and then to do backup free you'll see here that we have the option to download the software. So all I do is simply click on the download button. Okay, now I can go ahead and insert my email address and I can either leave this box checked or on ticket. This will allow you to receive product updates and special offers and then go ahead and click on download now. Okay, so here it's going to ask me to download the installer. I'm going to go ahead and save this file onto my computer. All right, so we're going to wait for the installer to download and once it's downloaded onto my machine, I can go ahead and run it and install it onto my computer. Okay, so now that the installer is downloaded, I can go ahead and run it. All right, so now we can go ahead and install the software. Choose your language and click on OK. Accept the license agreement. Click on Next. Choose the location you want to save the files. Click on Next. Next. Next again. Okay, so once the installation is complete, click on Finish. Okay, so once the software opens, you can see that it's going to give you the option to either put in a license code or use the free license. Right now we're just demoing the software, so I'm going to keep on the current license and click on OK. And here we have the software open. So now we can go ahead and start backing up our computer. To do this, if we click on File Backup, I can now select what I would like to back up. So in this case, I want to back up my documents, my favorites, uh, my library here, and then I can choose my destination. So I'm going to back everything up to my external drive. I can go ahead and give a description to this. And when I'm ready, I can go ahead and click on Proceed. So you can see that the file backup is now running. If I want, I can cancel this backup if I decide to. Otherwise, you can see that it's now performing that backup. Now if we click on this drop-down button here, you can see more information on the backup. Now I can also go up here to System Backup. And this is going to allow me to back up my operating system. I can also click to proceed here to back that up. And again, if you want, if you click on the backup options button in either area, uh, you can adjust the settings. And you can adjust the compression to either none or to high compression, whether or not you want it to set to manual or automatic splitting, etc. Once you've adjusted your settings, click on save. And I could go ahead and click on proceed if I wanted to back up my operating system. So now I have a file backup and a system backup processing. Okay, so the next thing you can do is you can go to disk partition backup. And just like with our other uh, options, we can select an entire hard drive. And so if I wanted, I could back up my entire C drive or I could also back up my uh, partition D drive here. I can even back up my external drives as well. And then once I've selected the drives that I want to back up, I can click on proceed. And finally, if I go to smart backup, I have similar options to my file backup where I can just choose what I want to back up, select my destination, and click on proceed to do a smart backup. If you want to clone your entire hard drive and make an exact copy, I can click on the clone button here and I can clone my entire C drive. So if something happens and uh, my operating system becomes corrupted or a virus gets on my machine, I can clone this entire C drive here so I have an exact copy of it. If we click on logs here, we can see a log of all the backups that have been processed on the software. And if I go to tools, I can also do some things like wipe my data. I also have the option to create an emergency disk. So if I click on this button here, I can create a Windows PE emergency disk, which is something that you can boot before Windows loads. Or I can create a Linux emergency disk. Okay, so you can see that the backup is processing. So once this is completed, the backup will appear in the drive that we've selected and we can use that backup to access all of our data anytime that we need. So if we ever need to access uh, all the files and content on our machine, It'll be backed up to our save location. Okay, so this is just a quick look at the uh, Ease US Toto backup available for Windows. So go ahead and check out our website. It's easeus.com and download the free trial of our software today. That's it for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and have a great day.